Hi there, Jeff here from the Wetsuit Centre talking to you today about the Ripcurl E-Bomb Zip Free uh, Summer Wetsuit 3-2 Wetsuit for Summer 2013. This suit uh, has had a bit of hype around it. Uh, basically, it's an older technology. A lot of companies have tr always tried to invent uh, zip-free wetsuits uh, using Velcro and bits and pieces like that just to give ultimate flexibility with no restriction of a zip. Uh, Ripcurl have done it a bit of a different way this time and uh, come up with the E-Bomb. Uh, so a similar sort of shape to the traditional E-Bomb. Uh, but with a zip-free technology that really does work, it's, a, it's an impressive suit. And uh, this is the first suit we've had in, which is constructed of the E4 neoprene as well. So it's the first suit we've had this, um, this year, 2013, with the new E4. Uh, so it's the first time we've we'll been able to get our hands on it, which is uh, uh, good news. And it's uh, definitely sort of uh, interesting to try the suit on and uh, have a feel. Uh, zip free suit then, um, as I say, first suit with um, the E4 neoprene. The E4 neoprene will be introduced fully with uh, the forthcoming uh, series for winter series for 2013 into 2014. So all of those suits will have the E4. Uh, now the E4 um, is obviously superseding the E3 neoprene, uh, and basically its quote is that it's uh, or its boast is that it's even lighter. Uh, and uh, more flexible than the traditional E3. There are some percentages banded around that, but uh, really the most important thing is uh, that it's a lot lighter, uh, a fair a fair amount lighter. And when I pick up this uh, 3.2, especially because it's got no zip mechanism, it's just neoprene basically and stitching, it is insanely light. It is like basically nothing. So um, it's going to feel awesome in the water, uh, um, even above the traditional um, E-bomb, which is using the E3 in the E3 Plus at the moment. This suit, because there's no zip and because it's pure E4, which is quite considerably lighter than the traditional E3, it just feels insanely light. It's going to be great as a summer suit. Um, so the E3 um, has been dropped. The E4 uh, coming in this season, but uh, we've got a bit of a preview with it with this particular suit, which is the Zip Free suit. Um, again, the E4 as well is more flexible. Um, they, they basically can do the E4 Plus as well, which is um, an even stretchier material than the standard E4. Uh, they do use that in certain parts of the suits that are coming out in winter, uh, for winter 2013 to 14. The reason they don't use the Plus through a lot of the suit is apparently because it is so stretchy that um, if it goes through a lot of the suit, it will just blow out. So basically it will stretch out with the body, but it won't. Uh, be able to stretch back again so it will lose its um, shape basically and uh, a suit that's a medium tall might grow into a large tall or an extra large because it will just blow apart so they do use that e, uh, they're going to be using that e4 plus in certain sections of the uh, wetsuits which are coming out uh, for winter like i think the flash bomb and uh, probably the e-bomb pro as well this suit though is just the e4 the whole way through so zip free i'll talk you through that in a second um basically the main things about this suit then Super lightweight, flexible neoprene, hardly any panels, really stripped down so it just feels like you're not wearing anything in the water basically. So you get one big panel across the front and around the back it's the same as well. No sort of interruptions of seams around the lumbar or around the bum or around the sort of abdominal region basically. Any seams that are placed or any panels that are placed into the suit are carefully thought about to make sure that they don't sort of um, impede the movement or restrict the flexibility of the wetsuit because it's really all about maximum flex. Uh, and that just sort of carries on down the arm, bent seams, uh, a V over the shoulder and seamless underarms and over the top of the uh, shoulder there as well. There's no seams to restrict you at all. Okay, uh, same around the groin and around the lumbar which I already showed you. Demonstrate the sort of flex of the suit. That's just a little taster. It just pulls like that real easy and then flexes back. And that's just the whole way through the suit as well. So for people that don't like wearing wetsuits or they like really, really flexible wetsuits, so you're not going to be able to beat this basically. So it's sort of quite like a traditional e-bomb uh, in so much as like the shape of it. So minimal paneling and any sort of panels that are again. Once again, we've got a four-way stretch there. So they dip the sort of um, part, the seam around the shoulders there, around the back, just to make sure that it does sort of dip down. Okay, so standard things you get as well, you get the Duraflex knee pad sewn onto the knees there, nice and comfy, very robust, it's going to stop the suit wearing through. Um, the inside of the suit is um, E3 tapes, or sort of critically taped on some of the stress points, which I'll show you in a second and turn the suit inside out. Uh, around the collar you've got a single line collar, so unbroken seam around the collar, and basically that means that on the smooth on the insides there's no rash. A single lining creates a really good seal around the neck, so hopefully minimal flush throughs on the wetsuit and very, very comfortable around your neck, which is nice. Okay, so the entry system, we'll come a bit closer for that. Now, with the traditional wee bombs, you get the chest panel sort of sewn over the top of the suit there. And basically you'll have a zip here where you can pull the top part over, open up the suit nice and wide and jump on in. 
okay? Makes it easier getting in and out. But what they've done with this suit is they've just sewn it closed. So it's like a traditional e-bomber so much as the chest panel comes over here and round the back, okay? And on the inside of the suit, you've got the standard sort of pieces of neoprene which come up nice and high, okay? Uh, and that stops any water sort of coming in. But what they've done is just got rid of the need for a zip. Now the theory behind this is there's so much flexibility in the top part of the suit here that if I were to sort of remove the hanger, you can just literally pull the side part open and uh, jump on in here, okay? Now, some people might be thinking, oh, that's going to be a bloody nightmare, but um, to be honest with you, uh, it's not too far removed from a traditional chest zip, and if you reach inside the suit and kind of pull it on inside out like that, you're just going to be able to slip it on like a pair of trousers, like that, get the knee pads over your knees, and then pull the rest of the suit up and over your body, and then you're into the suit nice and easily, just like a traditional chest zip, without the zip in place. So that's going to give you even more freedom across your chest panel. How much difference it's actually going to make is debatable. A little bit of difference to the weight, maybe, and a bit of uh, move, more movement in the chest panel. It's going to feel nicer because you haven't got that chest pushing in, uh, the zip pushing into your chest. Um, but yeah, it's debatable. But um, I'm going to try the suit on for you in a second, just so you can have a look what, what it's like when it's getting on, when it's actually on, sorry, and uh, give you a bit of a feedback as to how it is to get in and out of the suit. The blue neoprene is the whole way through, as I said before. So that's the E4 neoprene the whole way through. And um, you can see on the inside, what I was talking about there, you've got the E4 plus taping, just on the stress points there, basically. Uh, just to make sure the suit doesn't pull apart and obviously the warranty with Rip Curl is really good anyway. Okay, so here I am back without my trousers on, uh, which does feel strange in front of camera, but it's basically for a reason, uh, it's not that I'm a pervert, it's basically just to show you how easy it is to get the um, to get the suit on. So a lot of people, their main concern about getting in through this suit is going to be the zip-free zip system. So I just want to show you that it actually shouldn't be too bad. This is my size, which is a medium tall. I'll show you how the suit fits as well. So basically, what we're going to do, as I said before, we open up the side part there, and the best thing to do is going to be to pull it inside out. So we can pull it down like this, make sure the knee pads are in front, because I can quite easily get the suit the wrong way around. And because the suit's so flexible, it shouldn't be too hard to get over your knees, basically. So we pull that on, and just sort of get it on like a pair of trousers. Pull it up like this. The neoprene is incredibly flexible and lightweight. So the next little stage here, if you can see that, is just pull the suit over the knees like that. Okay, so uh, something you'd be sort of typically doing down the beach. Um, basically a lot of people do complain that chest zips are kind of hard to get in and out of, but with this particular suit, because there is so much flexibility in here, it shouldn't be actually too hard to get your feet through the legs, get the knee pads up and over your knees, and then the next stage is actually pulling the suit up and over your body. And the way to do that, we do do a video all about getting into a chest zip, but the way to do that is basically one arm at a time, slide up your body, get your left arm through. I always go for the left arm, that gets it on. And the next one, which is interesting, it's the first time I've ever done this, so hopefully it'll uh, go fairly smoothly with this suit. Find the hole, and you're up and on then. Suit's basically on then, like a traditional chest zip, and where you'd normally be pulling the flap back over your head, just kind of get in here to the side part basically, up and over, and we're in. Okay, so, not too dissimilar from our standard chest zip basically, and because the uh, quality of neoprene is so good and so flexible, didn't actually find that too much of a struggle. Um, so, those of you who are used to sort of wearing a chest zip, I'd say that it's not really too much, it's too dissimilar from standard chest zip. Those of you who don't really like the idea of a chest zip, hopefully that'll give you an idea. Once you get the hang of it, it's actually not too bad. Apart from the fact I'm out of breath, but it's really down to me just being really unfit. Okay, so basically got the suit on. As I say, this is a medium tool. For you, those of you wondering what the sort of fit's like and what your sort of bit would be in relation to me, then basically, I'm six foot one. I've got about 40 uh, to 42 inch chest, uh, 32, 33 inch waist. This suit fits fantastically well for me, so it feels great. So hopefully sort of show you there. Around the kidneys, nice brush to the kidneys. So basically, this is the E4 neoprene, this is a zipperless wetsuit. Does feel fantastic across the chest, so the movement across the chest is obviously uninhibited now. So you've got complete movement and freedom across the chest there. And uh, no zip in the back, obviously, so no zip on the suit at all. Uh, really fantastic, really flexible, feels insanely light, doesn't feel like I've got a wetsuit on. I'd love to try it out, but unfortunately I can't afford this particular wetsuit. Um, but uh, really great looking wetsuit, really fantastic feel once you're actually into it. 
And once you get past the um, sort of getting in and out of the suit, then um, it's definitely going to be um, a great wetsuit for people that don't like uh, wearing wetsuits. So they like to feel complete freedom of movement, complete flexibility, and quite complete um, uh, unrestricted movement uh, in the water when they're up surfing or doing whatever they're doing. So that is going to be um, the Rip Curl Zip Free review for 2013. If you've got any questions or comments, then please leave them below. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. And uh, we do have this suit on sale. Um, basically, UK retail is 250 And um, that's on sale. We've got a sort of a small amount of them to go out. So uh, pop and visit the wetsuitcentre.co.uk uh, for any further information.